What this is, is basically the, the shelving rack that you can pick up at you know Walmart, Lowe's, Meyer, any place like that. You can see it's the standard lightweight, some kind of you know plastic. It's not you know solid steel metal or something like that. But the key to now this piece right here is I don't know about three foot tall I think three foot four foot somewhere around there. So this is this is my my portable display. Um, you know like a lot of you hat collectors you know you've got hundreds of hats. And the purpose of this for me is I don't you know this I don't use this in my house but if you get these small pieces this would work for your house too just a place to to put the hats uh, but I use it because I need something portable and lightweight that I can you know easily set up and tear down and it's gonna hold a ton of hats you know my final display which I'll show at the end of this video um, can hold you know 600 or more hats you know because this thing can expand so let's zoom in a little bit. First of all, you'll see that all I have is, uh, with the sun, I hope you can see that, just a little tie wrap right there. I got one there and, and one at the bottom for these uh, three foot sections. For the taller sections, I'll show you here in a second. Of course, I have more. But then, you know, if I wanna add more, I just put this rack together, throw a couple tie wraps on, and I'm good to go. Now, as far as the mobility side of this thing is, this will fold up pretty easy I'll show you here I'll just take these hats off you can see how easy these come off I, I use a special clip you don't need to but I'll show you about this clip here in a second but the one good thing about this is I back away and you can kind of see the whole thing so it's on a it's on a deck so I mean that's not the floor you know there's my foot <laughs> so it's not so it's about three foot section and you can fold it up and then just take it with you right there it's folded up now the good thing about this, this is just two sections. You know, I put a single, I consider a single section actually four of these. So you put four of them together and they're still fold up. If you go over four, you gotta separate them, but you can permanently tie wrap four sections together and it folds up easy to carry out because they're lightweight. So before I go look at the big one, let's take a look at how we hang them here for a second. As far as how I'm hanging them, I, I put, two pairs of hats on here but I'm hanging them three different ways I'm going to show you but that just leads to the versatility because you know if you have this rack kind of system then you could basically hang them a million different ways this way I'm using the uh, hat clips from cap capers I'm going to show you what those are first of all you know I'm not endorse well you know heck I'll endorse them I'm, I'm not getting sponsored by them or anything like that but I'll, I'll definitely endorse them because I think it's a great product and I'll show you what it is here in a second and here I'm using paper clips a couple different ways to show you there's an option to use get a get it straight then an option to kind of let them kind of bend down like that so let's look at the cap capers here first let's just take this off and look at the back of it the way the cap capers and I think this is capcapers.com or something like that it's just a regular bracket let's take that apart and I'll show you so you've got a plastic brackets really lightweight top that goes on the the button at the top and then the hat folds up and goes into these two grooves so when the hats folded up like this right here you know this goes on the clip and then these get put on either side like that and it leads to a pretty flat or, or really firm look like that and it works on you know flat bills you're going to get a consistent look on flat bills, uh, bent rims, you know, uh, floppy hats and firm hats. You know, you're going to get the same look, but you do get a gap because you, you have, they have to be spaced. So, you know, you're going to get a little bit of gap like that. And if your hats are up high, you're going to be able to see that gap a little bit. But for me, that's no problem because um, when you put a lot of hats on there, it looks really cool. Now, um, the basically the dollar store version is you can use paper clips now i put these on two different ways you can see the top hat here it's kind of holding straight and holding firm and the bottom one's kind of bent down i did that on purpose to show you the difference and when i say paper clip i literally mean two different types of paper clips you have a literal paper clip right there and then you have kind of the bigger ones right there and to get that <coughs> excuse me that firm kind of look i put the the clip the heavy clip all the way over the button if you can see that right there so that it kind of holds the hat a little more firm um, compared to this one 
which you can see the the heavier paper clip is not on the button and that lets the hat lean down a little bit now the difference between the two is you know when you're going with the cap capers clips which which again i absolutely love um you know you're going to get that straight consistent look on all of them um when you're going on here you know the one i guess maybe advantage would be is you can space them closer together so if i hang this up here real quick drop the phone i'm not even going to edit that out <laughs> um so when i put this up here you can if you look underneath here if you can see it i can put the hats almost right on top of each other so i can there's more flexibility on spacing when I use these right here, but the, the look is a little less consistent, a little less professional. So in a nutshell, this rack gives you versatility on how you hang them. And one thing you might be thinking is, well, what if it falls over? You know, if I, if I flatten this out, okay, so now it's flat. So it, it will fall over with some wind on that. But if you tie wrap this correctly, and you can see my tie wrap, is you can see because of the sun there it is it's on this forward right here which allows this back side when i spread it out it'll spread out with it so you can fold this thing in a number of ways and i'm going to show you a little bit better example of that here in a second too the other thing you might be saying is well hat guy you can see right through this thing what if i want to block the back well the easy part of that is I just bought some black bed sheets and secured them on here. So let's go look at my large rack. The, uh, you know, I've only got one half section. When I say half section, that's only two pieces, one piece, two piece. But I'll show you how it kind of all comes together in the different ways you can put it together. Okay, so here I'm going to back away so you can see the whole thing, put it in perspective. See, that is an eight foot section. So, you know, double or more of what I was showing you. And this is four pieces. So let's walk around to the back of this and look at it. So section one, tie wrapped, section two, section three, and we come all the way around here, section four. So what you can do with this, and I'm gonna try to do this while holding the camera myself, is you can fold this any number of ways. Um, and, and matter of fact, it might be neat just to show you with one hand because I can do this with one hand. That's how flexible it is. We're just going to walk around to the back and I want to bend these around and make a, another kind of cool design that I've used in the past. Camera's going to jitter here a little bit. Hold on. Is now we have a cool, I don't know if you can see that with the sun and the black tarp, but you can see I put the black bed sheet on it. But now we've got a square. And with the square, you can put hats on all four sides. So that's a pretty cool display right there. You got hats on all four sides. And like I, you know, I'm holding the camera while I'm doing this. That's how easy it is. And if I want to expand this thing, I just add another section. Now, I know what you're thinking. The taller it gets, the more easy it can fall over. So let me show you something on that real quick. On this time, so I don't make you guys dizzy and sick. And I love the neighbor's music going on there, a little background music, I like it. They're, uh, I think they got a high school senior that's graduating, they didn't get a graduation party, so I'm all for it. So now, if we back away from this, you can see that I have the sections folded. So we got a flat section there in the back. See, there's three sections flat then this is folded forward and that's folded forward so that it won't fall over now this is four sections i can easily double this and bend it and this thing will stand up in a storm plus you can bend it to block wind so that it doesn't affect your hats uh, which is another good thing with those cap capers because it you know if i'm displaying these hats outside which i have in the past you know you want to you know keep them from falling off as well as keep them you know aligned in a professional looking display so this is my travel mobile display which i can expand this which i have i consider this one section which is four of the eight foot tall uh, basically closet rack systems so one of those is four of those pieces and then i've got 
one section is four pieces to me anyway and then I've got three pieces so this which when it's folded out you know if I had three more sections on this I can fold this out and then so that's each section is about two foot wide so this is eight foot wide by eight foot tall about and times that by three and I spent on these right here I got these at a secondhand store for like five bucks a piece of course the the blanket I got at the dollar store for you know a couple bucks so this is a dirt cheap way to display any number of hats in a professional looking way that is very flexible very quick to take down I'll show you the uh, final version here okay so here's a example final display and kind of backing up a second on that previous slide you saw how the black fabric was kind of you know falling apart or kind of flimsy a um, couple things on that number one I've, I've used it so much it's time that I need to you know re-secure this you know I, I use it very frequently um, number two it might be a good idea to get something better than two dollar you know <laughs> dollar store uh, blankets to put on it um, the good thing about the two dollar dollar store blanket that I got for this one is you know you can see I threw up some lights um, in the background here and you can actually see those lights um, because I you know I'm talking about right here you can see those lights because the the blanket I got was pretty cheap so you can see through it so I used that to my advantage and got these lights um, you know and that's another advantage of using this closet rack type system is you can mount things on the back you know that fabric I, I used a black but you could spray paint that and, you know put some funky designs on there or not use it at all and just paint the you know if you have a good backdrop anyway just paint the the um, rack system you know there's it's very versatile you can customize this however you want I'm just showing you you know a quick and easy kind of a template and it's basically what it is it's a canvas you can make it look however you want but the final product is it's a versatile way of hanging many hats um, what I'll show you in this particular case um, this is you know in the previous video uh, the previous section of this video I showed you that it was a you know four by four is kind of my template four pieces per section four sections is kind of what I've got it built to now um, back when I set this up it was a three by three so what I mean by that is three pieces per section and then three sections so you know starting over here on the left you know here's one piece and then it folds to keep the thing from falling over and then here's the second piece and then here's the third piece of that first section so right here you know all across here I've got this permanently tie wrapped and here is permanently tie wrapped I fold this up carry it in then what I do when I get there is you know here's the middle section piece one piece two piece three and then I set that up and then tie wrap it there when I get on site so you know there's the second section same thing here's one section one section two section three of the third piece and again this is folded right here um, so we have a you know basically three different kind of parallels so to speak to keep this thing sturdy from falling over you know I'm on my ladder putting hats up here at the top and stuff like that and this thing wouldn't fall over you know now speaking of up here at the top you may may see after I erase my scratch marks here you may see up towards the top that this section up here is a little bit higher well this section these three pieces are actually nine foot tall um, so it allowed me a couple things you know um, I can just basically I you know I ran out of my clips so I uh, kind of hung them at the hat at the top there real quick but there's a number of ways you can set this up as you can see I've got a lot of room here at the bottom that I could add more hats I've got room you know not use the lights room use room there you know I've got some gap in here you know if you look in this section right here you'll see that I have three rows but I only put one row on on each side I could have put three rows on so I mean this current display is holding somewhere around 250 hats you know give or take 10 um, but this as is a three by three um, you could hold around 400 and then you know I've got another section that I add on to this um, really a four by four is what I have you know then now you're talking 800 
and you add another section, this thing can get as big as you want, or it can be as small as you want. If you've seen some of the other videos I do, like the, uh, you know, the careers in baseball, the behind the scenes careers in baseball, um, you'll notice that I have like three or four hats in the background just because I use one section and I'll put three or four hats up. The last thing I'll tell you is, you know, if you'll see that the, the fabric is on the front so what I have to do is, you know, I poke holes in this uh, for the clips um, and then, you know, regarding those clips on a previous image, you know, I'm recording these things separately. I'm just kind of putting this together quick. You know, I, you saw me drop the camera earlier. It's kind of ugly editing, but I'm just kind of throwing it together real quick. But you saw that there was a paper clip on the cap capers clip. Well, I did that. The cap capers clip does come with some hanging options. I just put the paper clip on there myself um, just so that I can utilize this rack. Um, but ultimately, with the rack system, you can make this thing however you want. You can bend it however you want so that it doesn't fall over. And there's a lot of options. Just wanted to throw that out there, guys. Thanks.